Born at 32 weeks after a sudden placental abruption, it took 22 minutes of chest compressions and a blood transfusion to bring Honora's heart rate back. She suffered brain damage and seizures in her first week of life. And they're helping her to feel all better. Hi, Rafi and Zelly. Mommy loves you so much. And I'm being very brave because I have needles in my hand. Do you see that? You're giving me medicine through those needles. And please, tonight, could you say um, a Hail Mary and an Our Father for your little sister? She's so cute. She's so sweet. You're going to love her so much. Five days later, Honora took a turn for the worse. Her oxygen deprivation led to a bowel perforation. She went septic and weighed less than four pounds. On January 16th, we thought this might be goodbye. My entire family has left our house, so I'm living at my parents' house right now because we had to go to um, a hospital in Fairfax, Virginia, where there was a bigger team of specialists. Nora's bowel perforation didn't heal, so a second, more invasive surgery was necessary. She also received a preliminary diagnosis of cerebral palsy, a lifelong neurological condition that affects muscle development, movement, and motor skills. She hates her ventilator too, the little girl. So we're gonna try to get her off that as soon as we can. But every time her face kind of went, like she was crying, we just go shh, and it works. We felt so much support, but it was also a time of immense hardship and struggle for our family. She's looking so much better. Her color is looking amazing. I think today's day 51 and counting. She probably won't be home for at least another month. So for those of you who already have heard of this, I've been blessed by your prayers. I feel like grace and prayer is really what's keeping me going in this crazy time. Hi, future Honora. This is your mommy, and I love you so much. And I'm here in your NICU room. Wanted to do a little tour. You've got over here all your medications. There are four new, four new pictures that your siblings drew for you, painted rather. More artwork. Look at that. That's from your siblings. More from your siblings. More from your siblings. And even more. Paw Patrol and princesses are a big theme here. I love you so much. You're so pretty and beautiful and perfect. You, what are you excited about? Staring for hugs. Can you get excited to give Nora hugs? And this is. Aww. How to ballet. And yes. ride the bike outside. And to ride the scooter outside. Oh, it's so exciting. Yes. Do you love your sister? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> this time has tested us to the limits. We call Honora our woman of mystery, as you never know what's waiting around the corner with her. But every day we remember that we're one day closer to all being together. It's surgery day for sweet baby Nora. This is surgery number three. She's gonna get her ileostomy reversed. And we have this really cool medical transporter right here. It kinda looks like a spaceship. Here we are. Rapunzel and Dan and Jofus and I are seeing baby Nora for the first time. That little viewing through the window was beautiful, but it was such a tease. You just can't describe to a baby what siblings and outdoors are. We're so grateful to Ronald McDonald House Charities, which housed us for our time in Washington, D.C. Poor Nora's belly was all blown up like a balloon, so we knew that surgery was absolutely necessary. Once again, our sweet little fighter pulled through like an absolute champion. Today is May 10th, day after Mother's Day. I can't believe we're still here, but 
very exciting news for our sweet girl. She got her pick line out yesterday. Woohoo! You know what it is tomorrow? Tomorrow's the day we get to take you home. You get to meet Zelia Braffy. Mommy's so proud of you. We've been here 125 days. You're amazing. Did you know that? We're going to bring our baby home! Woo! My family babysat Rafi and Zelly every day for three months. You could not have done it without them. And still one more surprise remains waiting for us at our house. Home for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at all these. This is the best. No Christmas morning can ever compare to this. The little things aren't little. We love our baby and we are never letting her go. It feels so good to be together. 